Okay, so in this video, I'm going to show you the progress I've made in my photography from when I started out uh, to when I was learning and um, from where I am now. Uh, and I'm going to throw you, show you three images from each of those times and show you the progress I've made and just some of the little things that I've learned that you can see which is apparent in, in my images. Okay, so let's get into Lightroom. Okay, so this is old. Uh, these are all wildlife shots because that is where I started off. It's what I wanted to do. But um, wildlife is probably the hardest aspect of photography to get into, I think, personally. Um, also probably one of the most expensive ones as well. All the big long lenses, all that stuff. Okay, so um, this is where I started off. Uh, I bought a Canon power shot little camera here in um, Florida when I was on holiday and when I was taking photos and I was seeing them I thought they looked good and that's basically where photography became a passion for me um, so let's have a look at this image uh, nice um, rule of thirds I didn't know what rule of thirds was back then so this is probably just a lucky part but um, there's not much going on in the image, it's more of a just a head hunting shot I haven't tried to include anything else to make a sort of story for what's going on so again I probably just zoomed in as far as I can and that's about it same with the next image um, just I believe I zoomed as far as I could possibly in and that's what I got out of it. Nice image. Um, I think it's oversaturated. But that's because back then I didn't know what saturation was. And when I put uh, put it up, it made the colours pop. So I just put it all the way up all the time. Which isn't really a good look. Next, again. Um, all this sort of glare here is because uh, it was shot through glass. Uh, at that time I didn't realise this kind of stuff would come out but I think if I shot it again get rid of this and maybe go down a bit so I wasn't cutting out the pores um, it would be an alright image but again didn't really know what I was doing probably zoomed as far out as I could so that's my uh, that's the old images all of them and they're not ridiculously bad but they're nothing special uh, again just starting out I didn't really know at that point that I wanted to do photography it was just after sort of looking back at the images and thinking oh they you know they look quite nice I thought you know, there might be something there and I enjoyed doing it um, so these are my three middle images where I was learning and at this time I had sort of made the I joined a college course uh, to do with media, so I had film, radio, print, photography, all that stuff. Um, so I was learning um, more about photography and film, and I decided that photography was something that I wanted to go into. So I invested in a DSLR. I bought a Canon 7D with a 24-70 f2.8 lens, and that's the camera you'll see being used in this. Okay, so I had no idea how to use the camera at all. <laughs> Probably should have uh, researched a bit more, but um, I spent ages reading the manual after I realised that this wasn't working. Um, if it was in focus, it would be a nice portrait. I like it centred like this. Normally I would use the rule of thirds, but um, rules are there to be broken, so don't be afraid to break them. I think this looks nice um, in the middle, but as you can see, I was actually on program, so I wasn't single, you know, choosing my AF point, because if I was, I would have put it straight on the eye, whereas you can see it's it's focused down the mouth, because I think it focuses for the closest thing to you, so for some reason it focused down here, which leaves all this out of focus, and it doesn't look that great, but nice background um yeah it would be a good portrait if it was in fo if it was in focus 
uh, first gig. Um, this isn't actually in focus again. Don't know what happened there. I think I have another one which is in focus, but yeah. Um, ISO way too high, uh, 6400, but when you go that high, um, using black and white can bring the image back. It, it doesn't look as bad, uh, the noise in black and white. Again, program mode, didn't know what I was doing. Uh, now you can see, you know, I'm using the rule of thirds. Uh, I'm thinking more creative in this sense, you know, seeing that rim light, which look it does look cool. I've got, I think I've got another image where it is sharp, and it does look really cool. Um, I think this is my second portrait session that I did. Uh, no real editing done apart from iPhoto. I think this was edited in. Used the soft round uh, filter thing. But yeah, just finding interesting things using some foreground stuff that's out of focus to draw you in to the sharp stuff and then takes you completely out of focus in the background that's about it, that's my middle um, and these are three images that I really like that I've taken um, I wouldn't say that they're, they're my best best photos but uh, they're some of my favorite photos that I've taken so here are the new ones Now you can see really thinking, um, you know, using stuff to draw you in, black and white, she has black on black hair, so you know it's going to it's gonna look really nice against the white backdrop, just I think it's a solid image, um, it is, she is sort of in the middle, uh, but I think that works well, and the next photo, See, I'm thinking more creatively now, um, not just going for the the normal baby shots, but, well, this is probably a normal baby shot, but, you know, just thinking a little bit more differently, not going for the obvious, um, just face on uh, baby shots, uh, really nice contrasty image. Now, again, this is sort of rule of thirds, the action's yeah the actions around here so rule of thirds um again blown out background starting to know know my settings keeping my eye so as low as possible um and obviously shooting horses you want to stop stop the motion so uh on two thousandth of a second um at f two point eight and racked all the way out to two hundred to give that really nice compressed background because there's not a lot in the background to be interested in so having it blurred out is is perfect um, so that is my three new images so you can see the progression from old old photos you know nothing really interesting didn't really know much about settings or or really what to do middle starting to know more about settings um, learning a new camera uh, to now uh, completely knowing um, the inside and outs of my camera and just thinking more when shooting instead of like rushing thinking that I'm going to get something good um, I've done my experimenting I know what sort of works and what doesn't work also during middle and new um, here and here I moved from Canon to Nikon um, so I'll be making a video about why I uh, moved so come back I think I'll have it up in in the next week so come back and see why I moved from Canon to Nikon. So that's it. That's my progress in photography. Hope you enjoyed it. Um, if you want to check out any of my photos, uh, there will be a link to my Facebook page below. Go and check that out. Also, you can follow me on Twitter um, and add me on Facebook.